Christopher Halliwell, last year, already convicted of one murder and calmly negotiating with the police over another. So, one thing is, if I can clear this up, in the next few hours, will everything else be forgotten? Today, this former taxi driver has been convicted finally of a murder he committed 13 years ago when he strangled 20-year-old Becky Godden and buried her naked in a field. At the word guilty, cheers erupted around the public gallery while Halliwell smirked. We have waited over five years for this momentous day. It has been an extremely painful journey, but today we've received the justice that has felt like an eternity coming for our beautiful little girl, Becky. Becky Godden, who'd become a sex worker in Swindon, disappeared in 2003. What happened to her remained a mystery until eight years later, when another young woman from Swindon vanished, Sean O'Callaghan, a 22-year-old office worker. The suspect, Christopher Halliwell, after being questioned, would lead the police to Sean's body. He'd stabbed and strangled her. He'd then tell Detective Steve Fulcher, I'm a sick f there's another one. They'd end up in a field 20 miles away, Halliwell pointing to a spot in the ground where nearby the police would later find the skeletal remains of Becky Godden. The story of how Steve Fulcher elicited not one but two murder confessions that day is truly remarkable. He brought Halliwell to remote locations like this instead of a police station, questioned him repeatedly, offered him cigarettes, and ultimately got him to talk. But the detective's actions in this case would also prove hugely controversial. Steve Fulcher didn't caution Halliwell, he said, in order to keep him talking. It was, however, judged such a breach of police procedure that the whole Becky confession was ruled inadmissible. And despite Halliwell pleading guilty in 2012 to Sean's murder, sensationally, the Becky murder charge was dropped. It would take several years for the police to recharge Halliwell with Becky's murder. They had new evidence, notably soil found on his spade matching soil where he'd buried Becky. Is your suspicion that he may well be um, behind other murders? I think it's a distinct possibility. Whilst I have no evidence, I have no explanation for the eight-year gap. Uh, and that seems unusual to me that on one occasion he can be a murderer and on the next he can be a mild-mannered taxi driver picking up lone, vulnerable females and taking them home. As for the detective who caught Halliwell, he faced disciplinary action for breaking the rules and resigned from the force. Tonight he claimed his actions had been vindicated and questioned whether the police had the competence and credibility if faced with a similar situation. The mother of Sean O'Callaghan told Channel 4 News she draws some comfort, at least, from the notion that her daughter somehow helped stop Halliwell. Ultimately, she, she sort of stopped, stopped him basically doing it again. Because, you know, as a result of that and all the media outpouring, then Steve Folcher's interview, um, he's locked up and he can't do it again. Christopher Halliwell, who faces spending the rest of his life in prison, will be sentenced on Friday.